Hey guys, Tina here, the Critical Virgo. Welcome back to another Fragrance Fridays. Today I am digging into, hello mommy, my boyfriend's fragrances. He has a few. He's actually started to acquire more since we got together. Um, he received a present from his mother for his birthday, which just passed. And that's the fragrance we're going to talk about today. It is Versace Eros Flame. Hi, mommy. She approves, clearly. So, um, I, he's had it for like, what, two weeks now? I wore it last week. Um, sorry, I didn't post last week. I wasn't, I got caught up in stuff and I'm actually a little under the weather today. So if I cough, I'm sorry in advance. I gave it a few wears and I actually went to um, the department store to give the original a try because I've actually never really worn the original, put it through his paces. So I'm gonna, this isn't like a full out comparison video, but I will be talking about some of the differences that I noticed and I will let you know what fragrance I like better. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know, I do put timestamps to everything down below. So go check that out if you wanna fast forward to something. I totally get it. I'm gonna give you guys the notes and there are a lot of them on this. I was actually really surprised. So we got lemon, tangerine, orange, black pepper, wild rosemary. I really don't know what the difference is between a wild rosemary and the rosemary that I purchased in the store. We also got pepperwood, geranium, rose, um, cedar, patchouli, tonka bean, and vanilla. So it is a crazy list of notes in there. So I did wear this, like I said, uh, for a few days. And the thing that I noticed, I'll just go into the open first. It's very citrusy in the open. Um, I get a lot of that. That really stands out the most. And then once that dries down a little bit, then it becomes like this crazy vanilla bomb. Like it is a Tonka vanilla bean bomb on steroids. And um, the woods start to come out more once this dries down. And then it just kind of like hangs out like that for the rest of the fragrance. Um, it is <clears throat> warmer and spicier than the original fragrance. And it has like similar longevity. I went to the department store, like I said, I sprayed it on, walked around with it. I wore this one more than the original, uh, but I can confidently say that they both last about eight to 10 hours. It was a full day's worth of wear, so that's good to know. Um, I think that, I know that this one is EDP. I, I don't know if the other one was EDP or EDT. Let me check that out. So I went ahead and checked and the original is in fact an EDT and this one is an EDP. So I'm surprised that they both get the same type of wear time. Um, I find this one to be much smoother and better blended than the original. I actually prefer this and I regret not putting this video out last week because this would have been a really amazing uh, recommendation for Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys put something like this on because it is an awesome, awesome fragrance. Um, it is nothing groundbreaking and I find it to be very synthetic, but then again, what designer fragrance really isn't very synthetic? You know, the majority of them are, let's be real. I really enjoy this. I absolutely adore this. Um, I think it was beautifully done. Uh, it was probably one of the best, uh, looking back, you know, 2018 releases. I know I'm really late to the game on this one and it is reasonably priced. Um, so I have seen it on discount retailers, uh, the large bottle like this, the 3.4 ounces. I've seen it go for like 49 to like $58, just for the bottle, not if you buy like the gift sets. Those obviously are gonna be a little bit more expensive. Um, I've also seen the price of the original come down, um, but you know, that's just natural. I've seen them for like 30 something dollars. I've seen them even at TJ Maxx. So. If you're looking for something like this, you know, definitely check out like TJ Maxx or one of those discount websites first. I wouldn't pay full retail for it. I mean, unless you have like a coupon code or something. As far as like projection and uh, sillage go, they're fantastic. It actually wears a lot like the original. So if you've worn that before, then you know what to expect with this. Uh, I think his mom did a really great job picking this one out for him. I don't know if she just sampled it or picked it up. Um, I know he does like some of the other Versace fragrances as well. Uh, maybe you guys want to hear about some of his other fragrances. I can continue to raid his little stash. And I hope all of you had a wonderful Valentine's Day with your loved one or loved ones. Hey, there's all types of relationships out there these days. So until next Friday, guys. Bye.